Hey everybody, let's do a painting. <laughs> uh, get rid of my mask over here. By the way, this is the kind of mask you guys need when you're uh, painting with metallics or strong paints that smell, especially uh, spray painting or airbrushing. Those little hospital masks that you get when you go to the emergency room or the doctor's office for hiding a cough isn't going to get it. You need a respiratory type of mask. Okay, now let's get out this New Year's painting, guys. I have an orange here. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. I uh, was deciding. I originally was just going to do the three colors, but I just seen so much here. I'm not really sure what I want to do because I'm just so excited about these colors. I can't stand it. <laughs> but I do have my black cherry and my champagne. And, um, and I used a little of that deep violet ink in there. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm going to use orange or not. I'm just going to set it back there and wait and see. So what I did with this board, I have just a wood board here. I uh, stained the sides with a black cherry color and a sponge. And then I took it outside on the porch and just gave it a light misting of this silver metallic type spray. So I can still see the board underneath. I just wanted to put something on the board and uh, maybe it kind of matches. Uh, maybe I have some good luck with that. It kind of matches the champagne color. The wood does. So... I don't know. So I'm thinking today with this pour, I kind of want to do maybe just a puddle pour. And I got two different color purples here because I need some brighter accent colors. And let's see what happens, y'all. And then I did put some sparkles in this um, a smoky quartz in this negative space if I decide to use it. It's uh, white mixed with uh, titanium, unbleached titanium. And then I put some sparkle in there. And this is the only one that has silicone in it. I thought I'd do it backwards today. Instead of putting silicone in the paints, I put silicone in the negative pour. Okay. Now, let's see here. Get my rag and everything ready. Get my water over there in case I need it. Okay, everybody. Let's see. What do I want to start with? Let me get a couple stir sticks. Stir this up a little bit. I have small amounts of paint in these tiny little cups because I don't want to use a big cup today. But the thing I have a problem with is that a lot of times I find that I don't have enough paint because I'm paying too much attention to all these people that email me or send me messages and because uh, all my messages don't end up at the bottom of my video. I get all these private messages and then commenting on the video or this or that or they'll on my Facebook page, they'll say something and then they'll go back to watch the video on YouTube and then don't make a comment there. They make a comment on Facebook. So a lot of people are telling me like, you know, don't waste paints and what do you do with the leftover paint? And it's stuff like that, you guys, that'll keep you from experimenting and doing what you really want to do. Those people that say don't waste the paint and it's not, you're not wasting it. You're doing something with it. It can't help it if you got something left over that you're not going to use or Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's no different than like with me. Sometimes I get in a rut or we all get in an artist block or whatever. And I get in a rut and I, I lose my own creativity because I sit around and watch too many other videos. And, and it goes on and on and on. And it's like I, I forget who I am. And I don't have time when I keep answering all those questions and stuff. So I'm trying to answer questions in videos. But it can get annoying when people sit there and tell me like, oh, you're wasting paint or Whatever, you know, I'm, I'm doing what I want to do and the best I can, you know. <laughs> Not trying to sit here and vent and bitch and complain, but this is the way it is, y'all. Okay. I'm going to start off with the champagne color because, actually, let's see. Maybe I don't because it's too much of the background color. So let's start off with some purple or some chocolate. Let's, do, let's start off with this purple. All right, everybody. All right, everyone. Let's do some painting.
All right, everybody. I think that's it. We're going to leave it there. I'm liking it. It's actually really pretty. Lots of uh, gold down the side here. A little negative space. All right, well, let's go down and see what it looks like up close. Almost looks like a little flower there, too. It's weird to, for me to see it this way because my camera's over there. So I'm actually looking at something totally different than what you guys are looking at. Let's flip it. It's nice to see from all angles sometimes. I'm going to let it sit for a while, too. And then uh, I'll show the dried pieces in another video. It's going to spread out, you guys. and see what it looks like once it spreads out. All right. Let me get up here and take you down. Okay. All right, here we go. Colors are really pretty. Not seeing the sparkle um, paint that I put in that negative space, in that cream color there, I'm not seeing that anywhere. Maybe once it dries and starts moving a little bit, I don't know. I didn't put a lot in there because I was afraid it would like take over. This is making me want to do another cheetah painting. <laughs> Looks like a, a little river runs through the cheetah. <laughs> it's pretty, you guys. The cells are intact. I did use some different stuff today. Mixed it up a little bit. I added a little more ink. I really wasn't even going for this kind of look. I was wondering if I was going to have cells or not. I... I mean, if I was going to do cells or not. And I thought, well, might as well. But it's weird that the only thing I had uh, silicone in was the negative space. So it's really popping through. All right, everybody. Let's see what it looks like when it's dry. Thank you for watching.